Michael Burry reveals hidden secret message about the economy and warns of greatest stock market bubble ever. Michael Burry from The Big Short has returned to Twitter with a dire warning about the state of the stock market. Burry sees a huge stock market bubble in 2021, bigger than anything we've seen before. Could this lead to a stock market crash? Today we're going to talk all about what Michael Burry just revealed about the market crash and why he called the upcoming crash the mother of all crashes. So watch the video till the end, because today's video is going to be the bomb. Welcome to Michael Burry Secrets, your daily dose of Michael Burry. If you're interested in everything around Burry, this is the place for you. Subscribe if you want to stay updated with all the Michael Burry secrets, predictions, and stay one step ahead in the financial world. Watch the video till the end, and make sure to hit the like button if you want to be a millionaire within the next three years. Don't forget to enable all notifications to join our weekly cash giveaway pinned in the comments. Now let's get to our topic. The famed investor who predicted the US housing market collapse and the GFC says we're living in the greatest speculative bubble of all time. Could he be right again? When Michael Burry, the US hedge fund manager immortalized in the big short, talks, people listen. So it naturally rattled investors when he recently emerged from a 10 week Twitter hiatus to tweet, people always ask me what's going on in the markets. It's simple greatest speculative bubble of all time in all things, by two orders of magnitude. Hashtag Flying Pigs 360. That's a pretty damning appraisal of the market, with a clear warning. Burry has repeatedly chastised institutional investors for excessive greed, wild speculation, taking on too much risk, and chasing unrealistic returns. So what does this mean? The hashtag likely refers to those old words of wisdom about the risk of greed when investing. Bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. Burry's tweet also echoed his other previously called out cautions. For example, he's compared the hype around Bitcoin, electric vehicles, and meme stocks to the dot-com and housing bubbles, and said earlier this year that the stock market was dancing on a knife's edge. How will this affect the investors? According to a recent global survey conducted by eToro, there's an agreement among 43% of retail investors that markets are in a bubble. But are they correct in thinking this, and is Burry on the money this time? In my opinion, after watching the stock market closely, probably not. It's worth remembering that, while valuations are high, equities are currently cheap compared to bonds. As stock indices edge towards all-time highs, we have seen an array of new retail investors joining the market over the last 18 months. Many of these investors are operating a 60-40 strategy of equities and bonds and are concerned about the same issues as their institutional counterparts, such as inflation. With the increase in retail participation in the market, and with lots of bullish investor sentiment, it begs the question, who is left to buy? It's argued that it's not as bad as it looks, but a stark reminder that the market is pointing towards a more modest return rather than a market fall. Returns are likely lower in the second half of 2021 compared to the very strong first half, which saw 38 new all-time highs year to date. What to keep an eye on? It seems that Burry fears stock prices have been driven way above their actual value, with investors paying a significant amount more for stocks than earnings can justify. He warns that the greedy will get slaughtered if this boom ends in a collapse and the bubble bursts. It's true that valuations are high in some specific sectors, but this is supported by solid growth and climbing revenues. 91% of the companies in the S&P 500 have reported earnings for Q2 2021, of these, 87% have reported earnings per share above estimates. We're currently seeing the highest year-over-year -year earnings growth since Q4 2009. It's also true that tech assets boomed at the start of 2021, admittedly veering into bubble territory. Stocks like Tesla and NEO soared at a rate that earnings couldn't match. Pressure has eased during the year, with growth in the tech sector slowing as investors rotated towards cyclical equities. These include companies in discretionary industries that are more in demand when the economy is doing well, such as restaurants, hotel chains, high-end retail, and car manufacturing. Meanwhile, other assets in the market are still undervalued, such as in the financial sector. The S&P 500 looks set for a third year of straight gains, a rare achievement which has only occurred twice since the 1970s, showing there is still plenty of upside to be found. Are there any benefits to a market bubble? One of the other bigger arguments for a stock market bubble is the recent investment into meme stocks. These are stocks that see an increase in value because of online hype, rather than how well the company performs. 
From GameStop to AMC, meme stocks have become an overnight sensation in global stock markets. These meme businesses are often struggling or trying to implement a turnaround plan with professional investors shorting them, provoking communities of retail investors to unite and support a brand they love. As always, investors should think long-term by diversifying their portfolios to guard against potential losses, particularly if they're concerned about a market bubble. Investing revolves around rewards and risks. During the normal market condition, investors get money from investors that flow on risk-free bonds and blue-chip stocks that only have minimal risks and even no risk on treasury bonds. It's hard to find a company right now that isn't overvalued, but because the interest rate is very low and money is easy to access, people just keep on going to find a new way to profit. People also jump into the world of cryptocurrencies, an asset class that clashes with the institution's interest and don't produce real money at all. Burry has taken a distinct swing in the cryptocurrency bubble, saying, all hype and speculation is doing is drawing in retail before the mother of all crashes. Hashtag FOMO parabolas don't resolve sideways. When crypto falls from trillions or meme stocks fall from tens of billions, Main Street losses will approach the size of countries. History ain't changed. Burry stated in one of his tweets as well that no matter how much you think you know about cryptocurrencies, if you don't know much about the leverage in cryptocurrencies, then you don't know anything about cryptos. There's nothing wrong with investing in cryptocurrencies, but you need to prepare yourself and be comfortable with losing your money. This is what's happening in the entire market right now, which led Burry to his great speculation across the markets. The most significant sell-off in the stock market history, which was seen back in March 2020, has been followed by the wild rebound in the global market. Investors backed by the record liquidity from banks have dived into different asset classes. The statement of Burry that speculation is widespread in all things gives a clue at the crazy joyride seen by asset classes from sneakers to lumbers to traditional asset classes like bonds, equities, and certain commodities. That which market observers have called the everything bubble has been driven by a massive influx of investors across the globe. A lot of people are making a so-called investment fueled by social media trends. There's a massive record of dematerialized accounts opened in India in the recent 14 months, as citizens who can't go out of their homes dived into the stock market with their savings through a mobile trading application. In all of the asset classes right now, most people think that they're a genius because everything they bought has gone up. However, they don't realize that the reason why what they've bought has gone up is that borrowed money is just being pumped into that market. Consider what would happen if the borrowed money had to be taken out to pay tomorrow. Although Burry's warnings have always been discounted, only time will tell if Burry's warning was accurate. Time will tell if investors will get slaughtered like pigs. Just like what the ancient Wall Street saying goes, bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. Also, we would like to mention that this is not a channel intended specifically to provide financial advice, and we do not ask you to invest in any company. This is merely a channel directed towards bringing educational content to your doorstep. With that in mind, before you invest in anything, we recommend you do thorough, wide-spectrum research on the topic. And make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time on Michael Burry Secrets. Bye!